Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of Visceral Cleanup Detail. This is Santa's Rampage. Now I'm going to have to apologise. As you can probably hear, my throat is terrible, but I'm soldiering through. So this, this whole area is now done. I've done upstairs and I've done in this room, so I now have to move to Santa's office and to downstairs. So. It's difficult to choose which direction you really want to go. Um, I decided to clear out the office first because it's one area. And then th that would then leave me just to do the opposite area and the downstairs. Now, bottles. I said in the last episode I was going to explain a little bit more about the bottles. Basically, I do something you don't really want to do, and that's I break some of the bottles on purpose. So you have eggnog, which, if you break, will leave white marks on the floor which they're not as easy to see if you break the whiskey bottles they are empty so they will just shatter and then you have to just clean up the the pieces that are left then there are molotov cocktails now if you put a molotov cocktail in the fire it will explode however i thought to myself i've got a cheeky way of getting rid of them I can just shatter them on the floor and then throw the pieces away. That makes more sense, doesn't it? You would think. The normal bottles can just go in the basket, doesn't matter, because they can just be burnt. There's, you know, there's nothing, no reason to do anything there at all. Now, I pick up these baskets from the exact side because then it's easy to fit them through doors and walk around with them. So I get myself a new bucket of water. Get myself a new basket. But I get bits. Which is just annoying. And it is just because it's like, oh, you know, it's just there's a little bit of extra cleanup you have to do that I didn't have to do before. Because one of the good things about this is if you pick something up and start moving, even if it's just a little bit, the thing will kind of get sucked towards you a little bit. And that is actually really handy for manoeuvring around. Right, so I'll carry on with the desk. And now, like I said, this is going to be a... 100% run through. Now, I did have a few issues. Um, so you're not going to be able to see the full 100%. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, oh god, why didn't you say that in the first place? You probably just cheated or something like that. I promise I will explain uh, when I get to it. But you, you genuinely miss very little so um I'll, I'll explain when we get to it. it's right near the end so you see i get rid of the dynamite and you see that's the easiest way to actually get rid of the dynamite is if it's standing upright then you uh, drop it on the floor to knock it over and then you can pick it up and put it into the bucket like that. It's very difficult to do it if you get dynamite from the dispenser. Because it's already lit and you'll panic. But essentially you have to kind of drop it on the floor. And then pick it up and put it in the bucket of water before it explodes. It's not easy. See I'm trying to rearrange these so that all the wicks are in. And I just knock the water over. So I have to throw them on the floor. 
<laughs> I get two, uh, whatever that is. Here it is. We'll grab that. I get an extra one just in case because I do need another one for over here now. As far as I'm aware, all of the mess, like the blood and soot and stuff, is all cleaned up in Santa's office now. It's just throwing stuff away. I was worried because it tilted. So I run to the to, to, to the hallway, but it doesn't blow up. So I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Have a quick look around. Try and put all the notes back on his desk. And there's the Molotovs. Now what I do is I think to myself, I'll break them and then they won't burn. However, the pieces kind of go everywhere. Every bottle breaks into two pieces. And the argument that you have is you have to find the pieces. You have to look for where the pieces are. Now, I can't burn the candle because that would then lose me points. So I've got to make sure the candle isn't burned. Um, you burn his gun. Now, in the first episode, I said there was one gun to burn. That is Santa's shotgun. It's hiding behind that chest of drawers. Um, and that's the office done. And then you see I find another piece of bottle. So now I'm worried that there could be bottle pieces anywhere. And if I don't find them because they glitch into the floor, well, I'm never going to be able to complete this level. So it worries me a little bit. And it's a good way to get rid of it without having to finagle them and put them in water however um, yeah it's just you just got to be prepared to properly search for the bottle parts and if you use your sniffer correctly then it's actually uh, an easier way of doing it I was concerned just because I, at the point I didn't know how to use the sniffer but now yeah it's fine it's not a problem So, I uh, continue cleaning out this hole. What I find funny about this hole is I'm assuming there was a door there. However, see, it's like that. That looks like a bit of a door. Um, because if there's no door there and it was just bricks and stuff. Um, then how did they get into the room? There's no way other than the door leading into it. Make, it doesn't make sense why you would have a room there with no door adjoining. But then if there was a door, why did it blow up? I'm assuming the elves um, tried to lock Santa out, maybe. Or in. Because this looks, that looks, looks like the way out. So I'm assuming they, they tried to lock him in. Then you take all the USBs. So if you haven't seen the first part of the video. Yeah, so let's get to... Uh, the explaining. If you didn't see the first part of the video, then uh, what are you doing watching the second part? Um, no, I know that there are going to be some people who think uh, you might as well watch the second part just to get like a, a, a round up of what it is you need to do. So, essentially, you need to clean up Santa's workshop. You need to mop every blood and soot. There is nothing else. It is only the blood of the elves and the soot from the explosion in this area. You need to burn everything that isn't needed. Now, for the most part, that is the bricks and the wood from this area. It's elf parts from everywhere. It's bullet casings from everywhere. It's the shotgun itself, which is hiding behind the uh, cabinet.
is any bottles, whether they be eggnog, whether they be empty whiskey bottles, and whether they be uh, Molotov cocktails. But with the Molotovs, you obviously you either have to break them before you dispose of them, or you have to put them in water because they will explode and cause you further cleanup. There's also dynamite in one stick and in multi-stick form, which also needs to be destroyed, but can only be destroyed through uh, placing in a bucket of water before burning. And there are knives, which need to be burnt. Um, the knives are very different from the toy weapons, because they make a metal sounding noise when you pick them up. You have to also to get 100% you have to get all the USB sticks and place them into the PC at the beginning of the game. Now I have left one thing off that list and that's the thing that is basically a surprise to me something that I genuinely didn't think would be something for me to get rid of um, but like I said before you'll have to wait until the end to find out what that is now as you can see I have mostly uh, cleaned up the parts in this room and it is largely just uh, the blood that's left here now The bucket that I place here, oh, I keep knocking over and it gets annoying. And not from the way I climb on it in order to clean it, but purely just walking past it. I've put it in a position where every time I come out of the thing, I have to walk. Now, look, watch this, watch this. This is where I am not with it. Look, there are three bottles of eggnog there in that corner. You saw them? Look, you can see them there. I need to throw them away. Um, I'm oblivious for some reason. For whatever reason is, um, I, I did not pay attention to the fact that there are three bottles of eggnog in that corner. But there you go. So as far as I'm concerned, the room is done. Minus the eggnog. <laughs> but I will discover that in a minute. I've got to do the, the hallway leading to the reindeer shed, I'm assuming it is. The reindeer uh, home and yet yeah, a few of them are dead as well now I found uh, there are so many small like this is a really thin small corridor getting things through there is quite annoying because they'll often just touch a piece of wood on the side and then the wood is dirty so I'd advise, because I go back and clean it every time I notice that I've messed it up. But just, just don't bother. You can mess up a wall. You won't then drag it around. Whereas if you mess up the floor, clean it. Because then you can cause problems with footprints. There you go, you see, I've got them on the side there, and I've got them up there as well. <laughs> um, but we're in. We're into the final room that needs cleaning. See what I mean about footprints? They're very annoying. <laughs> Not 100% sure where it is they came from, because there's nothing there. But it's fine. Get myself a new bucket. And get ready for the final room. Now, these little things. I start by putting them in the bucket. And then I look at them and I think, well, they're not weapons. They're toys. So I've got to get it out of the bucket. Because I now don't want it in there. Um, because you're not supposed to get rid of toys. And even though they they're, they're look like darts that are in the wall, 
they're still only toys. So I'll take a risk and not get rid of them. And then you saw I, I knocked the bucket over walking past it. I also have to make sure I also have to make sure that that dart isn't in the bucket because I can't burn it by accident because then that would obviously give me a minus score and then I wouldn't get 100% so make sure this whole area is clean have a look over here and it is only the darts that's when I want to just you know clean up this here put the dart over there and that's when I want to check just to make sure that the dart isn't in there and you can see that it's not I feel like I'll take the dynamite up probably last makes a lot of sense to me But I mean, look at that. A bit of venison. Lovely. That would smell gorgeous putting that in a fire. <laughs> a leg of venison. Grab the antlers. The antlers are the most annoying because they're the big, awkward things. And then you see that's going to be too big for the bucket. So I'll place it in there. That's the main thing, is it's making sure that the bits that are too big don't go in the buckets, because otherwise you'll never get them clean. Otherwise you'll never get the buckets to the fire. It would all jostle around way too much. And then as you can see, not much left now. We're almost done. This little elf is uh, all in one bucket. And again, because that's a wooden bucket that's part of the scenery, I don't want to burn that bucket. So I have to take out all of the individual pieces from that bucket rather than, rather than uh, specifically burn in the bucket itself. You can see I knocked it over again. I told you it was the bane of my existence. So I feel like I'm going to put it on the other side, and that just causes more problems. And you see, this is kind of the, the rhythm that I've got into. I will clean with the mop until it's dirty. Then I'll grab an item and bring it out. Because that way, I'm not just cleaning, 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 then picking up, picking up, picking up. I was lucky in a way there because I got it on the floor, but I didn't trace it through with my foot, so that was handy. It's just easier when they're in like whole body parts or mostly because yeah, it's a lot less. And now as far as I'm concerned, other than the one in the wooden bucket, that is most of them done now. It's just a case of cleaning. And the dynamite. I knock over the bucket again. So clearly it wasn't very good to be on that side. And then I knock that one over. Because for some reason I called for two. And you just keep cleaning. Now, this is where I'm going to have a problem in a minute. Um, so, I clean up this area. This bit is, uh, watch, reindeer's nose. It's Rudolph's nose. Look at that. Um, if I hadn't have turned it around, I would never have known. Now, yeah, I clean up this area. And as you can see, there are bottles in the corner. Now, uh, my computer crashed. 
when I went to clean up those these bits in the corner. And as such, I have lost a small fraction of this cleanup. But what I have got is from cleaning this up here. Right, so all you missed was literally me burning the bucket. Oh no, yeah, I did. I burned the bucket because it's not there anymore. I smashed those three... Um, the three Molotovs that are in the corner picked up the pieces and I burnt the barrel Then my computer crashed gone It looks like I also cleaned up the dynamite as well if I remember correctly I just put the dynamite in my water bucket upstairs and burned that water bucket as well Right, so this is me now going around with a sniffer. So what I'll do now you see I discover my eggnog problem <laughs> To explain the sniffer properly, it has two settings. A blue setting, which is to detect blood, etc. And a green setting, which is to detect items to destroy. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't detect knives for the, for the green. So you see, now I cut back to green. Because it's signaling something is in this area and I cannot find out what it is And then I discover more parts of that bottle I broke <laughs> So you see it's lucky that I learned how to use the sniffer because otherwise I might have missed those But it's still signaling it still reckons there's something going on and you can hear the noise Is quite higher than it normally is and then it goes crazy on this table and this is what I was talking about before because if you look at the table I think maybe it's upstairs maybe it's something up here that I've missed but it's also going crazy up here for a moment I wonder whether it's the wood because it's definitely not down this end of the house um, so I decide well what I'll then do is the only thing that's over here are these letters so I'll move the letters, see if it's registers still, and if because if there's something stuck here, then I might have to use the broom to try and sweep it out. It might be a bottle or dynamite or something. So I'll move all the letters out. This also causes me a little bit of a problem later. Um, I know there's one on the chair, so I shake the chair to get it off. And then when you check, see, nothing. It's a lot less than it was. Out here, it's going crazy. You have to burn all the letters. Burn all the letters to center. Now, now, did you see that? There was a smash. Basically, I picked up a letter under another letter. And what that did was it flew up and broke some baubles. Now you remember I said at the beginning of, the, of the, the last episode that I broke some baubles? Well that was how. Uh, not by choice, by game physics. So I burned them all. And then I realised, there you go, it's mostly gone. But I know that there are some upstairs as well, so I have to go up there and burn those as well. See, there they are. I would never ever have guessed that you have to burn the letters. I really wouldn't. It's insane. Well, because you would definitely expect Santa to get letters, you know? It's weird. So you see, I check and it, they're all gone. There's still a, a beep and I can't work out what the beep is. I think it's because there are some letters that haven't burnt in in the fire yet and that they're still there. However, the letter that flew up and broke the baubles is uh, still on the floor. Now, I can't see it here, which means it's glitched into the floor. See, I try to climb up here to see if there's anything in the presence or anything that I've missed. 
I just I just saw it. I just saw it. So it's not glitched in the floor. It's just very well uh, merged with the floor. You see, I, I spot the the bauble. There it is. And there's the ladder. And now, basically, you go around the building using the green one. It should be a very low uh, pulse. And then you can do the same with the blue as well. So it's green and blue all around the place. Um, if you want to, if you want to search the complete area to make sure, there is definitely no one and nothing to clean up. Like I said, there's a, a rumor online that the sniffer will not detect the knives. However, I wasn't able to determine whether that was the case or not, um, so I can't honestly advise. But the best thing is just to clean up everything and then use your sniffer and you can see I've been around all the way it's the same pulse all the way around so I check out and there it is exceptional like a machine you survived the work site with cold calculation the near limitless faces of horror and mutated elves did nothing to dampen your spirits your um employee of the month at last the holidays will have yeah nothing but opportunities um, and then you see I tried to read these things and I, I still don't get what that whole thing is I was genuinely overwhelmed uh, such an amazing job that's obviously really really good um, then you read a story in which you kill Santa thinking it's the real one but it's not it's just an actor that was come to say well done Um, and then there's obviously a letter to say, well done. Um, and then I noticed this. I hadn't noticed this before. But you can see there, there's the incident report. Santa's workshop. Completed percent, 100%. So, um, there you go. That's it. That is it. That's literally all it takes. It's cleaning up the blood and the soot. You have to bin the elf parts, the bullet parts... Um, any rubbish as well as the letters to Santa that's the most important thing that I didn't realize would be a thing and was so thank you so much for watching this has been my 100% cleanup of Santa's workshop I like this game I might make I might play a few more of these levels see how see how it goes I hope you like this please like the video if you did please subscribe to my channel why not take a look at some of the other stuff that I'm doing or try and catch me live. And I'll see you again next time.